Oh my god, I feel like this is gonna be even bigger than the frame. Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. Holy shit. <laughs> My name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have a 24 book book haul. So it's been a while since I've done a book haul, hence why I've got such a big pile. These are all of the books which I have bought, collected, received in the past uh, two to three months, like since September. A portion of these books have already been mentioned in like a fairy loot unboxing or maybe even in a TBR or in a wrap up. Let's just jump right into the book haul and start with the one and only box set which I bought. And that is, I'm so happy that I got this by the way, that is the Roald Dahl collection. I loved Matilda when I was a kid, but I read it in Dutch and lately I've been really been feeling this mood of like wanting to read middle grade books or books which I've read in the past and I've never read Matilda in English and it's just a whole different experience reading a book in a foreign language. I actually already bought Matilda when I was in Dublin but then I really wanted to have this box set full of all of Roald Dahl's books because I just love the way that he tells the stories. I'm currently reading my sixth book from this box set and there are 15 books inside of here and I bought this at a really good time because for me this one cost I believe 20 seven euros but on Amazon right now the lowest price is 40 so I bought it at the perfect time and 27 euros for 15 books is such a small price for all of the joy that I'm gonna get out of this. <laughs> I cannot wait to finish reading this whole box set and I think out of all the books that I got that this is my favorite purchase. Then I have two books to show you guys which I received in I believe my September and my October fairy loot. If you guys haven't seen my fairy loot unboxings for the past two months I will leave a link somewhere up on the screen that you can click and then you can see all the items which I received surrounding the theme of that month and the book. So a spoiler alert for the next two. In my September fairy loot box I received Mirage by Samoya Dowd. By the way a little side note I I won't be telling a lot of the synopsis for these books because I just want to keep this video kind of like short and quick but I will put like a footage of the synopsis in here as well so you can pause the video and then you can read the synopsis. Either way it will be here in the video so you guys can read it for yourselves what the book is about so you can get an idea. This is another gorgeous special fairy loot edition. It has a different cover, it has straight pages, it is also signed by the author itself. I did already put this on my TBR a couple of months ago and I don't know, I believe it's a really good book and that's all that I know about it. And the other one is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly as well. This again has a special cover, it has sprayed pages, plus it is also signed by the author and I'm trying to find her signature. Here it is. Just like Mirage, this is a book which I added on my TBR list a couple of months ago so I'm super happy that in the past two fairy loot boxes I got books which I really wanted to read. After that I bought two books from Michelle. She is also a booktuber and makes videos under the name Books Michelle. She is really amazing. She posts a lot of videos so you guys should definitely check out her channel. She was doing a book on haul and she sent me a couple of pictures of the books that she wanted to get rid of. And then I saw two books in those piles which I was like, mm, okay, I really don't need to read those books. I've been really interested in these, especially this one. This is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson and I'm so interested in this book because I feel like this premise is so unique. I believe this is about a boy who has to deal with a lot of family issues. Uh, it seems like a contemporary novel but then all of a sudden like a sci-fi element is thrown in there because this boy, our main character, gets kidnapped by aliens a couple of times in his life and I'm just really curious to see how this like alien abduction story combines with contemporary family issues. I've heard really amazing things about this. I love the cover of this book and Michelle also really liked it. Then the next book that I bought from her is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I recently read History is All You Left Me by him and I was like pleasantly surprised. It wasn't completely what I was expecting so it wasn't a five-star read for me but it was super interesting and I really like the way how like Adam Silvera writes a super raw story. It's so honest and I've been meaning to buy this one as well. This is in the very, very pretty UK paperback edition. And I believe this is about a world where you get 
a text message 24 hours before you die and you can like join this website this community of finding like a death buddy like someone who also is going to die within the same amount of time and two boys find each other and I feel like they're gonna like fall in love and it's gonna be a really sad story but that is what Adam Silvera is known for. I pre-ordered a couple of books so the first one that I pre-ordered is what If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This summer I read The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli and I was so surprised by that one because I kind of liked Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens agenda but I wasn't the biggest fan of that one. But The Upside of Unrequited, oh my god I love that book. And then I read an Adam Silvera book and I really liked that one as well so that got me super hyped to pick up this book. It's such a unique combination of authors because Adam Silvera writes a lot of sad stories Stories and Becky Albertalli is usually a lot more like uplifting and upbringing so maybe their two like styles will balance out each other really really well and I cannot wait to just read a really nice LGBTQ plus romance. I've heard amazing things about this book so I hope that I will be able to pick this one up so soon and I love the cover oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, next up a really exciting thing this is a pretty new release but I got sent a book by a publishing company. Oh my god! And I also read this book, it's called Ein Zeer Opmerkelijk Verschijnsel by Hank Green, which is like the Dutch title of an, an absolutely remarkable thing. Yeah, that's what a title is in English. It is, I believe, more of like a new adult or an adult novel, but I feel like me as a 19 year old reader who reads a lot of young adult books, this was really like good as well. It was also different for me to read this in Dutch instead of English because it's been a year since I read a Dutch book, but it was a really pleasant surprise. The first like two thirds of this book, I flew through it and then I had to do a lot of stuff for uni. So I had to slow down my reading a lot. So we follow April and all of a sudden on just this random day she stumbles upon a really strange sculpture in New York City and she makes a video about it with one of her friends and this video goes viral and she becomes like the spokesperson for these sculptures which she calls Carl. This book is all about the media and being famous and getting all this attention while also exploring the statues, the Carls, because they have been appearing all over the world. It was just a really nice surprise. So thank you so much to Harper Collins for sending me this book. It was a really, really nice experience. And I believe there's there's definitely going to be a sequel. So I want to know what happens after this because it's a, a very interesting ending. <laughs> the next book that I pre-ordered is A Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, also known as a Victoria Schwab in the Young Adult world and this is the sequel to Fishes. This is also the special collector's edition. It is by the way such a big book but it also is really pretty on the inside and mm, I love it when a hardcover has a little bit of like an extra detail. I'm not gonna read the synopsis for this book because it's gonna be a spoiler to the first one and I haven't read that one yet. I've read two of V.E. Schwab's books. I really really enjoyed them until so far so that is why I bought the two books in this duology as well. I believe I've heard a lot of good things but I haven't really looked it up on the internet so so we shall see what I will think of this when I get to it. Okay, I have two more books to show you guys. These are both also pre-orders. So the first one is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. This is the companion novel to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which I read last year. It was like so hyped and I didn't like it as much as like anyone else. I thought it was an okay book. I really liked the writing style and the beginning of the book was definitely a-okay for me, but then the story just went in a different direction that I expected to. I really really liked uh, one of the side characters in the book. It was the sister of our main character in The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue and she's our main character in this one. I feel like this is going to be a really good historical fiction novel with more of like a feminist touch to it as well. I'm just really excited to read this one. Oh my god and then the last book. I think this might be the prettiest book of them all. Like I'm not too sure. Here I have Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, the collector's edition, and oh my god, look at this book. I'm one of the very few people on this earth who hasn't read Six of Crows yet. I've only read Shadow and Bone by her, which is the first book in her, like, what is it called? The Grisha trilogy. I still need to read the other two, but I've heard so many good things about Six of Crows, and then I saw this beautiful collector's edition on Amazon, and I knew that I just had to get it. It also has really pretty red sprayed pages, just the theme of this book is red plus oh my god look at this i'm sorry but i just need to show you guys this never happens in books like color printed things that just doesn't happen 
Like, I don't even know these characters yet, and I am already in love with them because of this gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. I love Jasper. Like, look how, mm, oh my god. It's about, like, a heist, and that's all that I need to know. I really like heist stories, at least, like, in movies and in video games. I love heists, so I hope that I will have the same opinion about this book as I usually have about those type of stories. So those were the 24 books that I, uh, I received in the past couple, two to three months. I am really... I definitely failed with my 2018 reading goal of only buying 30 books. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have read any of the books that I showed to you guys today in this book haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!